What is up, bros? Hey, dudes. Welcome back to episode number 50 of Porch Time. Holy cow, where has the time gone? Hard to believe it's been 50 episodes. So I want to begin by saying thank you for watching these. We don't know why you do, but you do. So we keep making them. So uh, thank you. Um, I pray this video finds you well. Um, I know many of you have cabin fever and you are ready to get out the house. Um, it is a beautiful spring day here in Atlanta. Uh, the snakes are already out uh, down there by the creek, by the bridge. Uh, and, and I know you won't believe this, but clients are already trying to play with them. Um, so we've been having to remind them, leave the danger noodles alone. Don't touch them. So anyways, um, where were we? So on today's video, um, I want to offer an idea. I want to give you a thought that I think can improve every single relationship in your life. Every single one of them. So when I spend time praying um, in the mornings, um, one of the things I do is I ask God to put someone on my heart that needs to be encouraged that day. And as I was praying and listening in the morning, man, the Lord just threw me a curveball and used the scripture from 1 Thessalonians 5.11, which says, encourage one another and build each other up. And it got me thinking, as a Christian, as a Christ follower, should it, be, should it not be my aim, my goal, to encourage everyone I meet throughout the day, to build up everybody in my life today. And it just got me thinking, what would my relationships look like if I did that today? Um, when I lay my head down tonight on my pillow, will I have more joy or less joy if I did that? Do Would people be drawn to me or would people be um, pushed away by me if that was my mindset and the way I went about things? Um, it's a mind-numbing thought. And so, I wanted to encourage you today that whoever you come into contact with, whether text message, voicemails, phone calls, emails, um, seeing a neighbor while you're out on a walk, whatever that might be, whether you're in line at the grocery store, getting gas, what would it look like for you today to just encourage every single person you meet today? Um, it seems like we live in a day where um, we are so quick to criticize and complain and tear down. And I don't know about you, that kind of mindset and those kind of people rob me of joy. They suck life out of me. And I, I just, I, I don't, I don't want to live that way. Um, so just thinking out loud, what would our, what would our lives look like uh, if we did that? I've never met anyone um, who've had, who had too much encouragement. I just hadn't met that person yet. Um, so odds are every single person you encounter today needs encouragement. Uh, my mentor said, look for the good in others and you'll always find it. It's a lot easier to look for the things we don't like. It's much easier to criticize, complain, tear down than it is to build up. Um, so for what it's worth today, as we go about our lives, um, and as people start talking about going back to normal, I hope, I pray, and I challenge you that your new normal would involve that mindset as it relates to your relationships. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there today. Um, also wanted to let you know, for those of you who aren't aware, if you're not on the alumni network, get on that alumni network. One of the things we've started doing um, in this season we're in is we started hosting um, weekly Zoom calls for all of our Trek alumni across the country. Um, it's a really cool opportunity to see faces that maybe you haven't seen in a while to catch up. We're trying to make those beneficial um, meetings. Um, we have different topics each week that we talk about. And so if you would like to join us, I, I'm asking you to. It's really, I think it's a beneficial time. We don't want to waste your time. So you can get all that info on the Trek Alumni Network. And if you don't know how to get on the Trek Alumni Network or you haven't been on there, um, you can just send me an email 
um, and we will take care of that um, for you. So before we end this 50th video, this 50th porch time video, that still sounds so crazy. I just want to remind you that God is still in control, that God is sovereign over every single thing in the universe today. And God has promised us in Romans 8 that he will use every season, everything for our good. Um, and Ecclesiastes reminds us that every season has a beginning and an end. This season that we're in, it's not going to last forever. And so I pray that God would, um, would increase your joy. He would grow you. Um, he would remind all of us of, of what's really important in this season, that we would take a good look at our lives, take inventory of our lives, and just recommit ourselves to the, to the things that are really, really important. And that's our relationships. That's each other. That's our walk with the Lord. So um, Philippians 1.6 says that he who began a good work in you, he'll see it through to the end. And so, um, yeah, I hope that encourages you today. And as, we've si as we sign off, I just want to remind you guys, God is with you. God is with you today. He's with you in this crazy season. And he will be with you tomorrow. And until next time, kids, man, get off my porch.